Thanks for tuning back in. It's Bad Boy Gaming, also known as Joey Moss. This box is for Adam Thorman. Adam Thorman, we got number six, number five, four, three, and two still available. What will the luck of the dice bring you, my friend? Boosh! It fell off, but you can see it's a five. Skadink. All right, number five you're getting, buddy. Good luck to you. These are out of our way. And yes, they are numbered. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't really make it too clear on the boxes. But bam, there is lucky number five. All right, Thorman. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. I've been having a lot of fun lately cracking open um, packs on Arena and playing. It's been a heck ton of awesome sauce. Made some really nasty decks, especially a mono green build. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, man, you are missing out on life. I think we're already up to like 30,000 views and just dropped it yesterday, less than 24 hours ago. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely a deck to be played there. All right, guys. This is for Thorman. Thorman, good luck, my friend. I wish you all the luck. Oh, boy. First box uh, from this case was not the most impressive. That one was opened by John Bain, also a patron of the channel. Um, ooh, starting things off. I'm not even going to say nothing, but this is a fun card, and you're going to see how fun we can play with it. That's right. Clackbridge Troll, really, really cool. And, uh, yeah, some uncommons. There you go. Some uncommons and commons. It's funny. People uh, yelled at me for going too slow in the first couple videos. Oh, bog naughty. Foil. There you have it. But the only reason we had to go slow um, was due to um, a lot of fun cards here. Uh, was due to I just wanted people to get a feel for it, um, the first few boxes. And then we just tear through them. You know, that's how it's going to go. Um, but, yeah. It was brand new, and I got people complaining. You're taking too long. You're taking. You're not taking enough time. Bone Crusher Giant, bada bing, and uh, some of this, some of that, and one of these. Sage of the Falls. Anyway, moving forward. Good luck to you, Mister Adam. Ooh, on an adventure we go. He's gonna pull a nasty card right here. That's how it happens. Boom! Called it, baby. Boom! Bone Crusher Giant, all up in its foil glory. Not too shabby. And uh, Torbrin, Thane of the Fell. Nice. Whenever you see an adventure card, you get something crazy. It just happens that way. Torbrin, coming at us. Wow, not bad. Good start, my friend. Good start. And something uh, that I've been complaining about for a while is the price of foils are going to drop. And everyone said, no, they're not. I'm like, well, how are they not going to drop? They're increasing um, the supply. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, other people, other YouTubers are starting to talk about it now. And uh, realizing that, yes, this is actually a problem. They are just printing way too many foils. And uh, what once made foils valuable, it, it's, it's, they're no longer special, really. I mean, now you got to get some alternate art foil promo crazy, you know, extended art for it to be worth uh, a darn, you know. Um, yeah, the way the, the route Wizards has taken, I'm not sure I'm too happy with it. I'm not sure I'm disappointed with it. I'm not sure what to make of it, but I think we all knew it was a matter of time before this would happen. Happily ever after. There you have it. All right. Uh, one of these. One. Oh, I love this card. I love the art on it. I really. I don't know. I don't even know what it does, but I just like the art on it. It's really cool. It might be a decent card to run. I'm not sure how good though. Uh, but yeah, the direction Wizards has taken with these is uh, is definitely um, it's definitely different now. When you're getting Epic Downfall, is cool. When they have all these alternate extended art cards. Uh, they're fetching a higher price tag, you know, like it's almost like the whole serial number thing. I mentioned this again years ago in videos. Harmonious Archon, there you have it, my friend. Harmonious Archon, all of its glory. Um, you're not doing too bad. I'll put the Mythics and uh, Foil, I'll put the Mythic and Foils up there. There we go. Um, Flax and Intruder, there you go, that's cool. The alternates are always good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Collector booster boxes, are they going to maintain a price point of 300 bucks, 350 bucks, 400 bucks? Who knows where they're going to be? What's the market value on uh, these cards? Uh, we really don't have an idea yet. We're just trying to figure that out at this time. Circle of Loyalty. All right. There you go, my friend. Thorman pulling a little something solid there. Um, it, just, it just is what it is, man. I don't know. But I think it's crazy. The first two boxes I had, I got two Mythics. Two Mythics. Two mythics, supposedly from the same exact exact uh, uh, case, and then now the first box I did of my first patron, no mythic, but he had three foil rares. But in one of my boxes, I had three foil rares and a mythic, and then the other one I think I had one foil rare and one mythic. So we're kind of seeing what's going on here. Trapped in the tower, there you go, and a wicked wolf. All right, wicked wolf making an appearance. 
But the direction, yeah, the direction they're taking, it's cool and all, but I think mass printing the foils is just a mistake. I, I don't think they should do that. I, I think they're going to scare away collectors, um, you know, uh, definitely scare away collectors, or they're going to move collectors over to the very expensive, that's cool, Castle of Antris, over to the more expensive end, which it looks like they're doing already. So they're keeping all... I guess, uh, the, the, the super Timmies, like if you want to call them happy by mass printing all these foils. So everyone gets a chance to get them, but then they're just devaluing them. So, I mean, the, the price is going to be, it's gonna be fractioned, you know, Ooh, feasting troll king, pretty cool card. So yeah, the, the price is, it's just not going to maintain a high price point. It just can't, there's just no way there's just too many foils, but regardless, um, the set looks magnificent. Um, oh, baby, there's a mythic foil for you. <laughs> that was terrible. Wow, nice hit, my friend. Thorman, you got the foil robber of the rich. And I'm hearing people can pull, like, different alternate arts and whatnot out of here with Old Sworn Knight to punt. Wow, what a good mythic. That is a really good mythic. I think that might be one of the best cards pulled on the, uh, the channel so far um, in Throne of Eldraine. Um, I think, I think that might have been it. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, moving forward. Got the Plains and Castle of Loxlane. Yeah, but we opened a lot of this product and, um, yeah, some, uh, promo packs as well. If you haven't seen that video, uh, definitely make sure you give it a look. I'm sure a lot of you already have, has, uh, have, it looks like it's at like 42,000 views already. Fay of Wishes. Nice little pool right there. Your piggy bank will like you a little bit more. How's that? Mm-hmm. Got the alternate art on it. I heard you can get the extended alternate art foil in these packs as well. I did hear that. And we're opening an entire case. So, I mean, by the end of this case opening, we're going to know if you can do that, if it's in one case or not. Black Lance Paragon coming at us. There you have it, my friends. But I would imagine it's not. You don't get one in every case. I would imagine it's like one in like four cases. Unless, well, they did increase the mythics, the mythic foliage in these. So who knows? It's kind of all over the map right now. Acclaimed contender. I got so many thoughts on this set. Um, it's hard to just get them all, you know, put them all into a line and make them go down the, you know, go down the tunnel in in a, in, a, in, in file. Yeah, I don't know what I just said. Giant killer. There you go. We have a giant killer. Oh, and the alternate beanstalk giant. Pretty neat. There you have it. And some uncommon action with. Here's your commons. That's it. That's all you're gonna see. All right, they're commons. I'm not saying they're all bad cards. They're not. But they're just cards people just don't really care to see much. Got the Swampy, Fate of Wishes again. Nice, nice, nice. And Trail of Crumbs. Bada bang. All right, we're all a little bit past halfway, Thorman. I'd say uh, so you are, this is a pretty decent box, man. This is pretty decent. Oh, Rankle Shanker. Oh, we got the old Ankle Shanker. That's what, he, He's Ankle Shanker from now on. Uh, don't ask, that's just how he came about. That is Ankle Shanker from this point moving forward. Uh, that goes over here. Well, wait, we do got a Mythic Pile. Bada bing. Uh, yeah. Did I put all the Mythics in that pile? Let's take a double look. Let's take a double look. Uh, yep, sure did. All right, moving along, baby. Strong opening, I guess. Uh, I, I think, so. yeah, I would love to have this box. Oh, Emery, this is definitely a strong box. Emery, Lurker of the Loka. There you have it. Great card to pull. I'm um, going to see play all over the place. All over the place, my friends. Oops. I hurt your token. That's why I don't like the pull tabs. The pull tabs, I think, cause more damage than good. Bam! Murderous Rider. My ninja. There you go. Not bad at all. This Throne of Eldraine booster box looking pretty, pretty solid, I must say. This MTG Throne of Eldraine booster box is looking pretty solid. Ooh, on adventure. Here we go. Virgin. Mm hmm Followed by the Wish Claw Tally, man. All right, that, okay, the on an adventure thing was a joke. You don't just always pull a good one when you do that. I don't think you guys are aware of that. Uh, all right, we got Wish Claw Tally, man. Uh, yeah. So prices on these foils, um, I'm curious to see what they're going for after everything settles down. And then I'm really curious to see what the collector packs foils are going for. Uh, Arcane of Absolution, not bad. And Stormfish Crusader. Old fisherman over there. Mm -hmm. With the brooms, Ben Naughty, and Hypnotic. Hypnotic Naughty. Hypnotic Naughty Stormfisher. That's crazy. 
another on an adventure pack what's going to be inside once upon a time nice hit my friend indeed once upon a time looking good man and uh the drown in the lock oh, there you have it we're drowning in loki is it loki is that how we say that loki drowning in loki i don't know maybe all right, regardless, our card piles are sliding all over the place here because Joey Moss has a $3 folding table that he's using uh, to, to put a lot of weight on top of. Unbelievable. Ooh, planes and a foil planes. Cool. And a mirror maid. Not a bad card. Not a bad card at all, my friend. Mirror maid coming at us. Lucky Clover. I'm hearing stuff about that kind of build. Could be interesting. Uh, the whole casting in, uh, of an adventure spell ability deck. Yep, sure. Got one of these, well, one of those, Vantress Gargoyle. All right, we will take it. All right, we're down to the last seven or eight packs here, pal. I hope the wizard magic gods bring you all of life's glory here. Castle Arvindale, would love to see that in a foil or something. That'd be pretty cool. Righteousness coming at you. And what are we going to get? Uh... I'm going to go with a Garrick. Just throw it out there. We'll get a Garrick. Castle Garenbrig. Well, it rhymes with Garrick. It's Garuk, stupid. Whatever, John. Whatever. All right. Let's keep it going. Thorman, almost through here, buddy. Almost through. Let's see what we get. Close it out one more. Oh, no. Not the opportunistic dragon. He steals your wallet and runs away with it. That's his opportunity. Oh, my goodness. Is it worth anything, the opportunistic dragon? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Mountain. Ooh, we got the fruit over here. Nice fruit. Oh, called the Garrick. Bam! Woo! Party in the pants. All right. We are loving it. Got the Garrick Cursed Huntsman Mythic. Nice, nice pool, my friend. Doing great. Oh, and an animating fairy. Uncommon. That's not bad. And, well, that was a good pack. And we had um, the, the Wintermore Commander... Uh, the fairy alt art and the deafening silence. What a good pack! What a good pack! What a good pack! All right, moving along here. Oh, pulls the foil, sir. Eleonora, yeah, that's right. Not bad. And the piper of bulk. All right, piper of bulk hitting us. Heraldic banner and some puppets. All right, everyone likes puppets. There you go. Puppets are fun. All right, moving on. Is that one guy that does the puppet shows? I can't remember his name. Anyway, Love Struck Beast. All right, taking it. And we got one pack to crack. How are we going to close this pretty darn good box opening? <laughs> Let's find out how we're going to close it right now. Are we going to close it with a bang? Oh, already, we have a goat token. Are you kidding me? Swampy. Wicked Wolf Foil. Nice. So we do go out pretty high on a high note there. Wicked Wolf Foil and the Fervent Champion. Great box. This was one of those uh, better boxes. Uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. It's all rando here uh, for who gets what box on uh, in the patron collector. You guys have seen that. I don't just select. I, uh, I even randomize it from that point forward. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you leave a like and uh, check out the other videos like here, here, and here. Okay. Skadoosh.